Welcome to this webinar. Um, I am Reina Ovenge, owner of the Knitwit Stable, which is a farm and a knitting studio in uh, Baanbrugge. Huh? And I would like to show you around uh, in the Knitwit Stable. We are a farm and knitting studio. We make woolen products from our own merino sheep and angora goats. This is important to us as this way we can show it's possible to sustainable produce and use wool in Holland. These two lambs uh, are born yesterday and they always look like this, a little bit uh, small, much um, thinner than a uh, Dutch uh, traditional sheep. These are uh, merino lambs. Very nice. Both uh, ram and um, they drink very good. Moms is quite well. So it's, they, it's really nice to see. And they already have a, a big fur, some wool. They have some wool. But um, she's doing quite okay. In this talk, I will take you with me in my journey I went. How I learned in the process from farm till yarn till sweater. I hope you will enjoy it and I'm really thankful for this opportunity. This is the uh, raw Dutch wool and um, we collect it from uh, farmers in the neighborhood. Um, and we, we already sort when um, we shear, but afterwards we check it again. You can see this is a traditional Dutch wool and this is a little bit more um, coarse. Um, and before sending it to the washing we have to get out all the straw, um, the bad parts. I had a career in the fashion industry for more than 20 years as a buyer and as a supplier of knitwear. I worked a lot in China, India and Bangladesh. And during my years in fashion, I saw the industry grow bigger, faster, cheaper and less fair. And my resistance against mass production and the consequences became higher and higher. It's clear that the fashion current system is outdated and harmful to people, animals and the planet. I could sell my company very well and I was happy to leave the industry. Nevertheless, I missed it as well, so I started this farm to give a positive contribution in the industry. This is a nice wool, it's a nice length, um, it's a nice greasy, you feel the lanoline in it. Um, it has a nice crimp, um, so this is really a nice, a little bit coarse, but nice piece of wool. Together with my colleagues, we work every day to bring sustainable wool a bit closer. And I strongly believe that creating insight and transparency is an important step towards a more sustainable production system for fashion. The Knitwit Stable is the only company in the Netherlands that brings the entire chain of production to the forefront and therefore bring transparency to every step of the process. From the animal-friendly practice of keeping merino sheep and angora goats, the usage of already existing Dutch wool, to the processing and production of a local and honest made final product. In doing so, we want to restore wool's reputation as a fantastic, versatile and renewable material. Well, and this is the famous Merino. It's uh, more fine and it's really uh, beautiful. It has a beautiful luster. Um, it's very fine. Um, and um, we bring it to Italy because there's no processing, wool processing uh, in Holland anymore not any professional wool processing. It's all gone since um, last century. And after scouring uh, the washing, uh, the carding and the combing, it will become a uh, top, wooden top. Here you can see, it's the, it's all the fibers are in one direction. Um, and this is what the spinners get and they make really a beautiful yarn out of it. Humankind has been caring for sheep and goats since 10,000 years BC. 
There are more than 1000 breeds of sheep and goats in the world today. And the Merino is probably the best known, being one of the most historically relevant and economically influential because of the excellent wool it produces. On 11 hectares of meadow, we have our own Merino sheep, Tesso sheep and Angora goats. This means we are learning everything about wool quality, proper breeding, land management, animal behavior and animal welfare firsthand. And what we learn, we immediately apply and share. And the more we know, the more transparent we can be about the chain. The fleeces from our animals are the basis for our yarn, as well as for our own fashion brand. Let me take you to the situation in Holland. In the 90s, a farmer was paid 25 Dutch guilders for a sheep's fur. And today, the same fur is only worth 5 to 10 cents a kilo. And in a bizarre turn of events, you now even have to pay to have black wool picked up. This is such a shame, especially when you realize that Dutch sheep produce approximately 1.2 million kilos of wool each year. Due to the Dutch wool's devaluation, the fur quality is no longer an important factor in the breeding process. Wool is rarely sorted and is usually stuffed in massive bales to be collected by organizations such as the Wool Federation. The bales are sold at bottom prices to end up in Chinese cars, seats, rugs or curtains. And due to the current uh, transport crisis, even this doesn't happen anymore and the wool ends up in landfills. So after we get the yarn back from uh, Italy, it has been spun, we can put it on the um, industrial uh, knitting machine and we make sweaters, beanies, uh, whatever. Um, and we start now with the front panel of uh, Stel Dirko. With the rise of synthetic fibers, Dutch industry wasn't able to maintain wool production as a viable industry. As a result, almost the entire Dutch wool industry has disappeared. But we believe that using and producing sustainable Dutch wool is possible. So we are constantly researching sustainable applications. We want to find a way to use the current Dutch wool production right here in Holland and bring back the entire chain on a small scale. We are teaming up with several Dutch farmers, brands and industry organizations. Together we look at different breeds and their wool quality. We then advise farmers and breeders how to sort their wool into different qualities and eventually we buy their wool. Depending the quality and fiber thickness, we pay between 1 euro and 4 euro. To illustrate, all fibers under 30 micron are comfortable to wear. Everything above is usually described by consumers as that itchy sweater. I just took out the back panel and the front panel and uh, two sleeves will come out later. Um, takes about 15 minutes each panel to make. We will do another two sleeves and the neck rib and then we will uh, link it together on the linking machine. Wool is an exceptional material. It is strong, temperature and moist regulating, easily recyclable and completely biodegradable. It beats all synthetic fibers. And this is the final result. So from sheep to yarn to knitting and a complete sweater. And for those who want to know, um, we have a QR code here with the whole story from sheep uh, the whole processing till the end product. We chose wool because it's such a nice uh, fiber, such a nice material. Um, it's widely available in Holland. And um, I also think that it's very important to, to, to get um, insight um, uh, and that is needed um, to have transparency to make a change in the fashion industry. And wool, the combination of the, the, the beautiful material wool and that it's widely available in Holland, 
uh, was really a nice mixture. Uh, there were a lot of challenges when I started the Knitwit Stable. Um, because I knew quite something about sweaters and production of, of knitwear, um, also about yarn. But everything um, before the yarn I didn't know, so everything was new. The animals, um, um, what's, what the wool itself, um, the knowledge about this. Um, and also, because we wanted to do it in Holland, um, all knowledge was gone. Because the whole wool processing industry, the whole knitwear was gone. It's almost gone in, in, in the Netherlands. So and there were only a few knitters left. But, um, well, it was, everything was, was new. So for me, the animals were new, but uh, also to getting all this knowledge back to Holland. Uh, about the processing of wool, uh, that, was, that was a big challenge. Yeah, we have uh, really various uh, customers, and, but all they want to have something um, which is transparent. They want to know where it comes from, uh, how it's made, um, that it uh, is uh, sustainability made. Um, so that's the biggest reason that people really want to buy something. Um, and it should be nice, of course. It should be a perfect, nice uh, article, which lasts very long. Yeah, my personal favorite is um, the... Actually, it's this sweater. Of course, this is uh, mohair from uh, my goats. And then it's the, the young and the kid mohair. And yeah, it's really such a nice material. It's, it has a nice luster, it's shiny, it's hairy. And I also very much like the more coarse uh, Dutch wool because it's, it looks rough, it looks nice. So there are two things that I like. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope you liked our little journey where I took you to my farm and knitting studio and how we can make sustainable companies and products. For more information please visit us at thenitwitstable.nl.